Steal right. me, God. Steal me, God. Yes. Once they say. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I was trying to think of my favorites. Like, you know, when you, when you pose with that question, you can't never think, but what a friend we have in Jesus. Yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. Kept ringing in my head. Yes. And I think it's so amazing that God is a friend to me. You know, when sorry, you... Sorry, Israel, she's stealing you. Yeah, I'm sorry, oh, Israel. But, well, all right, well, amen. <laughs> But, you know, you think about how many times you, you let God down and you say you ain't going to do it and you, right. and you do it or you say you, you, you're going to do it and you don't and you just, you know, you follow through is all wrong. Mm -hmm. But he never misses a beat. You know, mm. he, never, he never takes his word from you. He never puts you off and plays you to the side for a different crowd or wow. for some people that are better. Or, you know, this is, I, I think this is a better crew. I'm, I'm going to associate myself with them wow. and leave you. But, you know, sometimes we do that. We'll leave God for the blessings that he's gave us. We'll leave God because we got a little something don't think mm. we need to pray that much because he My gave us God. the things that we prayed for you know and God is still always faithful he's always yes. a friend he's there to remind you hey I did that get yourself together give me a little praise I'll give you a little more you're all impressed with that thinking you're something I got more than that for get real. it together you know because he's your friend and when you got a good friend they down with you yes. no matter what yes. you know they know you funny acting they know you, you know, you ain't really a good <laughs> friend on you know Monday Wednesday and Friday but they just still love you still love you and that's what, what a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, oh, all our sins and griefs he'll bear. Oh, 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 oh what a privilege. It is to carry, you, to carry everything, mm. everything to God, to God in prayer. My Lord Jesus. Mm. That girl can fun. Oh. He's my friend. Oh. Even when I haven't been his friend, he's still my friend. Still my friend. I owe God so much. Yeah. That's enough to just rejoice over because, you know, how many times have we said, God, this time, mm -hmm. if you get me out of this, oh, yeah. I promise you, I'll live faithfully, I'll pray faithfully, <laughs> I'll <laughs> trust faithfully, I'll do everything faithfully. And then, of course, we don't. And most of the time, we don't just accidentally fall into it. Most of the time, we walk dead smack mm -hmm. into it because, yeah. you know, that's how it goes. But let me tell you about a God that I know. I know that you've probably dealt with a lot of things in your life that I probably haven't dealt with. I have had my share of problems. I've had my share of troubles. I've had my share of trials. But the one thing that has been consistent in my life is God's faithfulness. He's never turned his back on me. When I wanted to cry and give up everything, he said, look, you can make it. And if you just put your hand in my hand, the reason I was talking about obedience tonight is because it's going to take an obedient heart to turn your face to Jesus, to turn your heart to Jesus, to turn your life to Jesus. Hey, you've tried everything else. I'm, I'm not, I don't have to tell you that. You've tried everything, every body, every piece of liquor, every piece of drug. You, you know who you are. You've tried it all. But the truth is, none of that can fill the Jesus void because there is a Jesus void that must be filled with Jesus only. Just Jesus, not your friends. And I bet they're cool. But then he'll give you another set of friends if you let those go. If they're the ones that are bringing you down and not bringing you to Christ and pushing you away from him, those are not the friends that you need. So we just ask right now, in the name of Jesus, that you repeat this with us. Lord Jesus, I made a mess of this. And I realized tonight, through all the testimonies, that you are a loving sacrifice and Savior so I ask you now with all my stuff come into my heart be the Lord of my life 
And I know that means that I have to give up my will and turn your will into the only will that matters. Save me, forgive me, Lord, love me. And I know when you do that, I can truly tell somebody that I am saved, that Jesus washed my sins away, that he cleansed me from my past junk, from my present stuff, and he's even able to cleanse me from my future stuff. So Lord, we thank you right now for all those people who have confessed you as Lord and Savior. It is such a blessing to be on your work, word, your network, Jesus. I was trying to say network, Jesus, because this is Jesus' network. We want to thank Paul and Jan for allowing this crazy girl from Texas to come and have her friends hang out with her for a couple of hours. We really love Jesus with all our hearts. And that's what matters to us. And you know what matters to us? That you love Jesus and that you make him Lord of your life. So right now, I'm going to sing a song called Be Blessed, all right? <laughs>